Hi folks, my name's Ted Caruso, the Galley Gourmet, and we're here today on the beautiful Ibex where we're gonna really get cooking. So come on board, let's check it out. What we do is we're gonna get a nice big cut of swordfish right here. It's about seven, eight ounces, have your fishmonger cut it. And we're gonna wrap it in bacon. Okay, get a nice hickory or a wood smoked bacon and wrap it up just like that, okay? Now remember, a little fat is okay because that's where you're gonna get most of the flavor. Then what you want to do is just put a little toothpick in here to keep the bacon actually in its place. Then you're going to get a, a heavy bottomed pan and you might want to add a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. Ooh. Likes to kick it up a little there, lower the flame a little. Okay. And you'll see that it starts to smoke. Right when it's almost ready to smoke, it'll warm up just a little bit, about a, a minute into it. You'll take your native swordfish, and what we're going to do is we're going to pan sear it. So you'll cook this on both sides, making sure to check that it's not sticking throughout the course. You don't want it to stick. That's a big no-no. Okay. In the meantime, you're going to need some other things to complete this dish. The actual title of this, it doesn't really have a title. It's just off the cuff, but I call it a pan seared swordfish wrapped in bacon, okay, we're halfway there, with a clams casino pepper sauce, okay? So it's almost like a clams casino with, with the clams you can add. We use clam juice. Well, this, these are the basic ingredients. You're gonna use diced red onion, or sweet red onion, Bermuda onion. We're gonna get a brunoise of peppers, green peppers. You can use yellow pepper. You can also use red pepper. These are from Holland, okay? Chopped, finely chopped garlic, extra virgin olive oil, salt, pepper. We're also going to use some, uh, you can use cilantro, but I prefer just flat parsley. Cilantro will give it a, a different flavor. Juice of half of a lemon and a little Tabasco sauce, okay? So once you've gotten it nice and caramelized on the outside, like I said, about five to six minutes per side, what we're going to do is we're going to remove it, put it on a plate and reserve it for a couple of minutes, and we're going to finish off the sauce. Now this is how we're going to do it. We're going to take, in the bacon drippings that we have, we're going to add our onion, we're going to add a little bit of our chopped garlic, okay, ah, it smells good, I wish you guys could smell it, if you're standing behind me it really smells good. Then what we're going to do is add our brunoise pepper, it's good to use two different kinds, whatever color you want but just give it some kind of color, okay? We'll saute it, saute it, okay? Then what we'll do is we'll season it with some, some pepper. I like to use fine white ground pepper, some salt. I don't think you can ever have too much salt, but I know there are a lot of people out there that doubt, doubt me when they say that, okay? Then what we'll do is we'll throw in, we'll throw back our, our fish Flip it over, we'll do it this way, that way it doesn't get too much color on one side. And we'll take our clam juice, pour it in there, just enough to fill halfway. And I'll tell you why I say that. Because now what we're doing is we're pan poaching it. This fish, even though it's almost done, is three quarters of the way done. We don't want our swordfish to be moist, we want it to be moist, we don't want it to dry out. So by cooking it in some liquid, what, whatever escapes in moisture will just go right back in through the liquid because it's going to absorb it. So once it's all done, right after you put in the liquid, about wait a couple of minutes, when I say a couple of minutes, four to five more minutes, just so that all the flavors will, will mix and so that it'll reduce, okay? And uh, that's pretty much it. So we'll, we'll get to plating it all up. Put it right back on that reserved plate or you can just eat it right out of the pan. Either way, it's going to be delicious. Okay. Now, if you had clams, they'd really look beautiful here. And then just hit it with some uh, some parsley. And there you have it. Pan-seared swordfish wrapped in bacon with a beautiful clams casino sauce. Hope you enjoy it.